Oh boy, has this ever happened to you? Kitchen sink is now clogged. Both ends, garbage disposal, the other drain here, plunger doesn't work. Why? Because the plunger backfills into the dishwasher and really can't get anything out uh, of the exit pipe of the sink. So we tried last night to take a look under here, unscrewing our pipes, and here's the drain pipe that goes here. This is the garbage disposal coming down here. This is the dishwasher that comes into the garbage disposal, and this all goes out this tail end around the bend, out the wall, and into the great beyond, wherever sewage goes. So when we're stuck and we cannot get the pipes cleared, then our options are limited because if we can't plunge it out and we've taken out this pipe here and this connection here and all this is clear this is clear we've checked that as well so the pipe blockage is out the drain there this calls for the use of a auger so today we're going to demonstrate my new latest Ryobi acquisition and that's the, oh, there we go. The OnePlus 18 volt drain auger. Clears drains up to two inches wide, powered forward and reverse feed up to 25 feet. And essentially this uses a coiled wire to crawl forward to try to break up whatever is jammed up. And in this case, I think it's gonna be shiitake mushrooms as that's what tried to go through the garbage disposal but didn't make it too far. Just for your reference, this looks like part number P4001. This is the battery not included model of the Ryobi One um, Plus system. So let's get this unboxed, unpackaged, all set up, and we'll see if this can clear our clog. All right, this is the drain auger. Uh, I've already done one pass of it and got some gunk out. Um, the manual here is an epic fail. So the manual, uh, I'm disappointed, Ryobi. There's like really uh, antiquated instructions here where it says, hey, look at figure nine on, or figure one on page nine. It has like some random insert. I don't even know what this is. Uh, that uh, there's supposed to be a diagram in this, uh, in this manual on page nine. It goes to French on, page seven of English, it has operation instructions, and then it ends at page eight and gives you notes. Like, really? Look, it's like, oh, okay, look, installing. See figure one, page nine. Variable speed switch trigger. See figure two, page nine. Auto feedlock, page nine. Advancing retracting the cable. Pages, uh, figures four and five, page 10. Now, you notice that there's nice instructions, and then here we go page eight and notes. And then it goes into French. And on French, page seven, on page nine of French, it also goes to notes. And then we have Espanol, we have Spanish. And uh, the whole book here, Basically has, oh, wait a second, wait a second, page nine. All right, okay, I'll be less critical now. Page nine comes at the end of all the French and Spanish too. Okay, so we do have some figures here. All right, there we go. And that helps us, okay, figure out what's going on. But I figured out the tool already. So the biggest mistake I made was in order to operate this, you have to lift the top part here, and this puts a little traction to actually advance. If you do nothing, this thing just flails around and doesn't advance. So you have to have two hands to actually uh, deploy this part here and then actually press this. Now you have a, a forward and backwards mechanism. This should be very familiar with anybody with a Ryobi tool. Uh, this goes backwards, this goes forwards over here. It's just a sliding lock. And then you do have this auto feed button. When this is pulled up and deployed, you can deploy this lock to hold that. Uh, this is full of grease, so I've already figured out 
you know, that, that's full, <laughs> full of grease here. Uh, this also clamps your position, uh, which is a locking clamp right there. And the battery is pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to need two hands to try to operate this. Um, we're going to give this another whirl and uh, see if we can't uh, unjam this. This pipe is pretty far back there. It's got a short clearance and it's uh, got a right angle right here. But I was able to just thread this through and advance it down that pipe there. So let's see if... Oh gosh, got some water here. Let's see if we can't uh, get this set up with a view of how we can go ahead and advance this. Okay, so you can see I'm holding this and just gently advancing the auger in the pipe here. And I'm not doing it too forcefully here. Uh, you can even manually thread it a little bit. You can see this is going into the pipe back here. And we're just going to keep advancing this until you either encounter some resistance or you actually, uh, you know, uh, run out of this. And you can just thread this back and through. Anything blocking in there shouldn't be that stiff, okay? So I'm going to bring that all the way to the end and all the way back and see if we can't clear up that gunk. Okay, we've reached the end of our spool. So what we're doing is just throwing it into reverse. And then we're going to grab the top here and then just start pulling it back. So you can watch as the spool basically comes out. manually a bit also help this retract I think so I'm just gonna do that for a little bit all right we fit it back now this does super coil a bit such that this clamp is essential once you bring this back uh, to hold this in place without this is gonna jump and you're gonna notice that there's a lot of wound tension and you know if we take this off the clamp there you can just see a lot of that super coiling just jumps this thing. Now, even though I tried to auto rewind that, you saw how much of that spring tension was in this coil. Uh, essentially, this is because it's, you know, wound up here pretty tightly. So once you either reverse this back or you manually thread this back, make sure to engage that clamp so that this thing doesn't jump out and hang out like that. Okay. Now, if that just did its job, well, then it's worth it 60 bucks already because it saves us a plumber here. Uh, I did get some kind of particulate matter out in the back here. So I'm going to rehook this up together and see if we can't flush out the drain and see if that worked. Okay. Well, I didn't think it would work. We used the auger 25 feet in. I didn't feel any resistance. It did kind of be full. Um, RPM full torque withdrawal of that thing. Didn't really see anything. Um, actually filled up the sink again and it backed up again. But after about five minutes of just a column of water, a big bubble burst, and we dumped a ton of baking soda and vinegar thereafter. And we're just running water, hot water, for the next couple minutes here just to make sure it's going down. But so far, so good. So maybe that drain auger actually did do its job and get through a blockage that was pretty distal because uh, I had to hub that 
coil all the way to the end in order to actually get this uh, working and we did that two times disassembling this. In fact we were about to call the plumber giving up as those longer augers that go a hundred something feet are thousands of dollars and I'm not going to run to Home Depot to get one of those. So let's make sure our pipes are hooked up back together without any leaking. We're pretty good there. Um, one of the things that I'm going to put down here is a wetness detector, which I think is smart. We have a ring system with a leak detector just because these are prime culprits for leaking. So, especially these uh, kind of tension mounted plastic pipes. Well, that's the Ryobi um, hybrid auger. In this case, it came through, it seems, and unclogged things. Please don't flush chunks too much solid food into the uh, garbage disposal if you can throw it out that's probably your best way to prevent this from happening any incidental stuff that goes down the sink process it but solid foods throw it in your garbage or compost all right well that's the Ryobi hybrid one um, auger which in this case did help us save a plumber and unclog our kitchen sink this is still draining. Make sure it's draining both sides here. Should be. As that was clogged in the common channel. Okay, thanks for watching.